Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and welcome back to another MA2 video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to pixel map, or more specifically, bitmap fixtures within the MA2 software. Now, pixel mapping and bitmapping are pretty much the same thing, but pixel mapping, you need a, a VPU or video processing unit to do so. Uh, bitmapping can be done from within the console, but they both yield the same result as being able to uh, play video content over a selection of uh, fixtures. So to get started, what we need to do is first we need to go and uh, make your layout view with your fixtures that you would like to pixel map or bitmap. And then click on this little setup button up here and then click on this little rectangle here. We'll take this rectangle and we'll just draw a rectangle around our fixtures that we want to select. And then we need to go down here to visualize, visualization <laughs> and put it to bitmap. That way it knows what we're going to be doing with it. After that, we can hit please. And now this is set up here. Now what we need to do is we need to import a bitmap fixture. So we'll go up into setup, patch and fixture schedule, and I'm going to make a new layer. We're going to call it bitmap. Oh, and then from library. And then we can just look up uh, bitmap. Oops, I clicked a bunch of different things. And then the manufacturer is MA Lighting Bitmap. Here we go. You're gonna import this. We just need one. I'm gonna put it at a really high fixture ID. So I'm gonna say 1001. And then it can live in the end of my universe. It really takes up one channel. It's fine. Hit apply. And then we'll X out of there. And yes, I want to save my changes. So now what I want to do is I want to call up my uh, bitmap fixture. So we're going to hit please. And then I'm going to store that into here. And now we have our bitmap. Okay. So now we can select our bitmap here. And then, oh, you know what to help us? Let's actually, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to add a smarts there we go so now we have all these options here and what we are going to want is to uh, go to the v object or video object um, tab here and then we need to select our layout view that our bitmap is going to apply to so i'm going to open up here and i'm going to click layout 2 because that is what layout my bitmap is in and now we're good to go so i am going to i have an image pool down here i'm going to right click i'm going to import images and then i know i have some bitmaps that are desirable for me so i'm just going to go down here i just did a um, shift click to select everything and i'm going to hit open and you can see it's going to populate all of my images after it's done loading there we go so we did 36 out of 38. That's all right. So now, um, if we click on an image, nothing's going to happen. So we can click here. And then what we need to do is this is a fixture. And just like the rest of the fixtures, in the, you know, when doing stuff in the MA software, you have to bring up the intensity. So if I start bringing up our intensity encoder wheel here, there you go. Now it's playing our bitmap. And you can dim it too. I can bring this down. And it should, oh, let me turn off highlight. <laughs> there we go. So see, now it's dimming. All right, pretty nifty. And we can also do other things, like we can change the color of it. So go in here, we can make it blue, make it green, whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, we can play different video content. So if I go back here and I go, I don't know, play this one, that's going to be doing that diamond. You go back into the video parameters here and you click through you have some different options that you can play with uh, one that is pretty useful is the speed and you can actually set this to a speed master which is pretty cool so if i set this to speed master one that is my dim and color speed master so if i bring this up you see it's going to be going fast and if i slow this down well now it's going really slow and you can even drag it all the way down to come to a complete stop it's pretty cool yeah i hoped this has helped. I know there's not much uh, 
helpful information out there for pixel mapping or bitmapping, but I hope this is enough to get you on your feet. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I will see you on the next one.